just 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 Hi everyone, welcome to my startup presentation today and thank you very much for sparing your time for this startup presentation. I hope this will be far more interesting than you think. My name is Ajit Fernando and I've worked for Emirates Group for the past 15 years from different departments to different operational levels such as terminal operation, flight operations and ramp operations and currently I work in the capacity of aircraft loading supervisor. In my startup project, the Aerodrome Drones, I have documented back in March 2019, just before the Art of Drone Innovative Weekend, and I will submit my publication during the same week. Now, talking about drones, we all know it is one of the hazardous objects in general aviation, where a minor misuse can lead to a major catastrophe. However, the Aerodrome Drones are the ideal substitution for many aerodrome activities, which is safe, cost-effective, environment friendly and technology advanced. Now before we moving any further, let's take a look at some of the practical use of drones in this short video. And this video is captured from interesting engineering.
As you can see, there are many industries use the power of drones for their business needs. So, in aviation industry, I have realized the airside environment is a place where we can capitalize the power of drones for better needs. The project Aerodrome Drones can be advanced into utmost consolidation as we are heading towards IATA's massive commitment to achieve Fly Net Zero by 2050 and the supreme initiative took in November 2021 by the Crown Prince of Dubai, His Highness Sheikh Hamdan bin Rashid Al Maktoum to optimize the use of drones in various industries, including transportation sector. In line with the aim, to reduce airside congestions, potential accidents and incidents, in line with the aim to reduce carbon emissions caused by airside servicing petrols, and in line with the aim to create a most efficient and advanced airside assistance system. Let me introduce the Aerodrome Drones, the most advanced artificial intelligent multi-rotor unmanned aerial vehicle. There are three major activities of aerodrome drones which is directly impacting on the air side assistance system, which is follow me drones, marshalling drones, and FOD detector drones. Although the terms may a little bit of complicate, let me explain you each in detail. The follow me vehicle. The current follow me vehicle can be used as a matter of convenience or safety. The pilot or the air traffic controller can request or arrange a follow me vehicle due to one or any of these reasons on the screen. Now instead of a follow me vehicle, I recommend that follow me drone can do the same task, leaving zero carbon emission to the environment. Now the reason behind my recommendation is it has a capability of following a preset instruction to fly from point A to point B with an average control speed and with an average control altitude. And also, it has an ability to freeze while in the air, which is technically the same term as in follow me vehicle. However, the communication part is one of the most important and we cannot compromise under any circumstance. And that's where the drone traffic controller or the drone control agent comes into the picture. Ladies and gentlemen, for your information, the drone traffic controller or the drone control agent will be the next demanding profession in aviation industry with a significant amount of increase in unmanned aerial technologies. So the drone traffic controller will take care of the communication part while the drone rolls the aircraft to the desired location. Now let's take a comparison between follow me vehicle and the follow me drones. Follow me vehicle. Once the task has created, the follow me vehicle awaits at the taxiway to receive the aircraft or vice versa. Follow me drone operate with the same methodology using the freeze mode on. Follow me vehicle. Once the clearance received, the follow me sign display at the top of the vehicle. Follow me drone mounted with a lightweight LED display which indicates the signs and word phrases and continue to fly in front of this coded aircraft once the clearance received. The navigator or follow me attendant will lead the aircraft while in contact with the tower for directions. Follow me drone operates with a preset instructions including all the stops, curves, speed and altitude controlled. Productivity and performance perspective. Follow me vehicle consume of fossil fuel resulting carbon dioxide emission whereas follow me drones operates with electro power. And finally, each follow me vehicle operates with a human intervention whereas all the follow me drones controlled by just one traffic controller. Moving on to our next aerodrome drone is the marshalling drones. Marshalling of aircraft is must needed when the time the VDGS or the Visual Docking Guidance System is malfunction. The aircraft marshaller job is a physical human activity followed by a universal sign process. In an era where most of the human activity is replaced by machines, 
Marshalling of aircraft will be the next addition to that list by introducing the drone marshaller. How can we implement? It's pretty much easy. Now we have a lightweight LED screen mounted on the drone and we use the same pattern as in VDGS to roll the aircraft to a complete stop using the lightweight LED screen. In other words, the drone marshaller can also be act as a mobile VDGS. Now, the biggest question even I had when I was developing this concept, how does the drone identify where to stop the aircraft or up to which point to roll the aircraft forward? I spent quite a lot of time finding a solution and I came up with two options which is feasible. Number one, the drone control agent or the drone traffic operator will have the access to high definition live footage which is given by the drone camera and roll the aircraft manually towards the stop point using the, using the VDGS pattern. And number two, this is where the artificial intelligence comes into action. Drone operator sets the type of aircraft expected to be at the bay and what drone does is locking up a certain location on the center line of the ERA and roll the aircraft towards that point until it's get covered by the nose landing gear. You probably wonder how can we attain such an advanced artificial intelligence protocol. Well, I must say that it's all existing technologies at current requires a micro scale integration between the object and the environment. Now, with all that being said, let's move on to our next aerodrome drone, the 4D detector drones. FOD, or Foreign Object Debris Prevention and Clearance, is a responsibility of all airport staff. I hope everybody would agree with me because I grew up in an area where FOD clearance has given high priority in the airside premises. However, there are areas such as runways, taxiways, general maneuvering areas where the accessibility is restricted to only airside patrols. So once again, I recommend the F4D detect drones will be able to act as airside patrol drones to carry out routine, routine inspections, not only within restricted areas, but also within every corner at the airside premises. It builds with the hyperactive sensor controls, which alerts the drone controller in case of any potential hazards objects on the sensitive areas to intervene for the inspections. Now, the detector drones can be turned to a collector drones by introducing a mechanism to lift an object which falls on the ground and dispose it at a desired location. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, we live in a world where ideas are endless, the opportunities are limitless, and the solutions worth priceless. I have seen drones picking fruits using artificial intelligent perception algorithms while maintaining its balance. So we are almost there using pursuing the idea of FOD collector drones. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that concludes my concept of aerodrome drones, which can create a massive impact on overall airport operation in terms of safety, sustainability, asset value, and cope up with the latest technology. In the wake of sustainable products are on high demand and the safety of the corporate assets given high priority, the aerodrome drones will be the next big improvement where airport authorities must focus on. Once again, the IATA's massive commitment to achieve net zero emission by 2050 and the vision of Dubai Crown Prince to encourage drones for transportation sector. Join me in creating this evolution to the global aerodrome environment to justify yourself that you are being one of the part of a noble cause today which benefits your future generation. As we come to the end of this presentation, I would like to pay a humble gratitude for your valuable time and if anyone would interest in investments, endorsements, development and require more information, please feel free to contact me and I'm looking forward to hear from you soon. Thank you very much.